Hey gang, how you doing? Just sitting here in the yard with Swamp Donkey after yesterday's epic trail ride. I gotta tell you, that was fun, and I can't wait to do it again. But I've been getting a lot of comments and questions about Swamp Donkey, now that more of you have been getting a view of it. So I thought I'd give you a little better update on what is going on. Oh, up front, you see the bumper, but I've been getting a lot of questions about my front axle. How did I make it? What did I use? Well, get you in here a little bit. It's all two inch square heavy wall tubing for the main axle. Got a 3 16 plate for an old wood stove. Makes a real nice skid plate. Uh, of course, it's gusseted, supported. Out here, the important stuff. That's what I use to make the ends. I cut a hunk of that, a couple inches wide. Cut it down the center. That gave me my two actual ends. The rest of it is uh, gas pipe and trailer parts. One inch gas pipe was my main piece. Um, I slit them, squeezed them closed so they fit nice around uh, one inch bronze bushings and uh, welded the whole works to a spindle that I had cut off an old trailer I had laying around. That's also where the hubs and the rims, everything came from. Uh, drilled and tapped for grease nipples. Ran a 5 8 uh, grade 8 bolt down through it. Nylock nuts. Up in the top, where it pivots, I don't know if you're going to see anything. It's got a grease nipple up in there. And I drilled an inch and a quarter hole straight through the two inch tubing and inserted another piece of gas pipe clean through the two inch. Inside the gas pipe again, bronze bushings, complete with the grease nipple. Uh, that two inch square, uh, if it was, wasn't was three sixteenths, it would have been quarter inch thick, the axle tube. It was uh, pretty heavy stuff. We got four bolt trailer hubs, full road bearings, 12 inch wheels. 25 inch tires well, I don't know if I can answer any other questions about that axle but if you have them send them my way here's a 3,500 pound winch it just got installed for the big trail ride and I only had to winch about two feet of cable to get my ass up one hump other than that it stayed just like that for the entire day Locked by the man himself. Yeah, what else can I tell you? New hood latches. I was tired of it rattling around. Here's the winch wiring. Coat up. Straight down there, that nice round hole in my belly pan is how you get to the grease nipple for the pivot for the axle. Honda clone, 15 horse, Princess Auto, uh, 8 inch front pulley, and about the same on the back. I wouldn't mind doing a little more pulley swap for top end speed, but out on the trails, third gear at idle seems to be the winner. But, uh, we got a Peerless 2317 cast iron differential under here with band brakes which are hooked from this cable up to my shifter and it works pretty good I wouldn't say it's enough to stop the machine dead in its tracks on a downhill slope but it slowed it down enough that nothing major would happen this machine is pretty heavy uh, when I built the front end My center carrier 
that it all runs through was also built out of the big tube uh, I just cut it off cut one side of it off out the bottom again just one pivot bolt but here you can see I've got another piece of the two inch heavy wall tubing runs the entire length of the tractor and ties in with my uh, tranny mount which is also a source of two inches of lift tensioners and we got double pulley clutch up in here somewhere but, uh, it's a pretty stout combination I must say I, I like it uh, skid plates are something that's definitely on the list uh, maybe a little belt protection uh, that might be nice too but, uh, let's crawl out and keep on looking here you can see the original GT frame on the bottom and the craftsman body is simply bolted down to it on both sides there's about a dozen bolts holding this thing together but that was also the source of the lift on this gives it a nice level stance maybe at the back here you can see it's just one tractor sitting on top right on top of another one joined together I think it worked out just splendid Here's my rack for carrying my crop on the trail brake light Mr. Shifty he's just for show now that's not hooked to anything that was the original very drive in the machine but, uh, On the hole, battery, foot throttle, clutch coming through again, another bronze bushing, another grease fitting, everything's got grease fittings. Glass pack exhaust, because I'm getting too old to listen to the straight pipe crackle in my ear all day long. Yeah. This front bumper was donated from a buddy of mine. He picked it up at a garage sale for his four-wheeler, but it was rusty and crappy looking. And his wife didn't want it bolted on their brand new shiny four-wheeler, so he gave it to me. And it worked out perfect for width. It's like cat whiskers on the trail. That bumper goes through, so does the rest of the machine. Anyway. I don't know what else I can tell you about this, but uh, like I said, anybody got any more questions or want to see something else in uh, greater detail, let me know. Peace.